Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to more Solana. We are here in the garage with the AMK MK38 and the task that I want to take is this one, British Columbia de-energizing coast. Now, so it's limited to the first pole near the coastline, service spare part and then second pole near the coastline, service spare parts again. Now if you see, service spare parts are here but luckily service spare parts are here as well. So since we're driving the AMK, we will keep it uh, simple to this route like we did in the previous run and then simply go here and then before we run out of run out of fuel we will go here then this way that way this way here and then here so that's the plan because I do not have uh, these tasks completed so I can't take this easy route otherwise anyway uh, I do think that this is still possible from here but then a rock slide is not or maybe it is I haven't tried so I don't know but anyway uh, we will take uh, the route that is planned and with a 200 liter fuel capacity <sighs> that is the challenge so uh, let's see so for the best I am running it once uh, especially on this one so hopefully it isn't too fragile like it is in fine now probably too soon so we just recover it and then restart again. <laughs> so we'll put this in high, hence four, and then leave it in high. And so as we have already learned, that this is a very unstable truck. <sighs> yeah. And then advanced special is going to make it even more unstable. So uh, the only thing is, you know, the speed, the speed of the advanced special. But then again, when you pass stuff like this, it is prone to take damage and damage too much damage. Like you can see here. Taking damage for no reason at all simply just by passing in here I've lost it out so this is just terrible I do not think that this AMK is capable of making to the other side even with the even in uh, this okay. Even an empty truck is not capable of going to the other side with this advanced special gearbox. It's just made of glass, it's just stupid. Though the truck seems to be performing fine. And the good thing is that once the truck is loaded, from there on it is on tarmac. So, if and when we reach uh, uh, that point where we have to, you know, load the truck then I think from there onwards we should be okay <laughs> if the ANK can move to pass this I will be a happy man previous trucks did not have so much issues why is this struggling so uh, and struggling struggling too much just the uh, the gearbox alone cannot be responsible for such terrible you know uh, performance on the water that itself was very careful when you got the ANK it was one of the fastest you know almost 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 a challenge to the team thing but then the lack of add-on and everything else just you know, 
to control on the strike and then Tega being Tega uh, the NK was lost somewhere and then I I do not see people using this truck. Also, with the civilian, uh, the ANK civilian now coming in the game, uh, though they do give us some variants of the add ons that this ANK is incapable of. But that too, the civilian is not, uh, you know, <laughs> civilian is not, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? is not a very huge upgrade to this EMK. Performance wise it is still the 100 liters and uh, yeah. The issue is the fuel consumption and the lack of add-ons and even with the EMK civilian with the add-ons this issue is still the fuel consumption. <laughs> and the lack of attachment if you go to the trailer store you will not find anything that uh, you can hook the ANK to probably they have solved that by now so hopefully 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 we can take a service trailer repair this and yeah although oh, the punctured tire though it shows me that I have lost the tire I I can't see it reflecting on the performance of the ANK because of the advanced special maybe you yeah, know the truck is too fast for its own good which is actually a bonus plus which is actually a bonus plus point for me and here is the crossing and if we can cross it you know go to the other side unharmed I did like it, but uh, yeah, high gear is actually too fast for the server. <sighs> not too bad, not too bad. Even with the punctured tire, first of all, which tire is gone? I think it's the. Actually, I can't tell. But anyway, the puncture tire doesn't seem to be a problem. The ENT is performing as good as it does. So, yeah. At the end of the day, ha ha ha, all is well that ends well. There you can see the puncture tire, the first one. Anyway, cargo we want. Uh, oh, I'm not tracking it. So. We want the inner guys close, just exit. And then we want uh, service spare power, service spare power, one, two, cool. Just a thing off. Uh, there's a service station here as well, so. So it means my truck is repaired already. Oh, yeah, look at that. So my truck is repaired. So all I need to worry about now is fuel. I think 124 liters of fuel is, should be enough to wear it. But then again, there's this uh, task in the middle that I haven't completed and I don't know how uh, cruel that passing is going to be. So I will actually fill this thing up. First of all, let's see where my marker is pointing to. So I am better off taking a left here. <laughs> Like I was saying, it uh, now the truck is repaired and everything is sorted. I will just fill, fill it up, you know, kind of little fuel. Although uh, in the EMK, you know, I think uh, whatever fuel is left is sufficient for the journey that remains. But then that hurdle in the middle where the task is not completed, if that takes up too much fuel, then I don't want you know this task failing because I thought. Uh, I could be, you know, I could be the hero and save the day without refueling. So, yeah, I'll just refuel. Anyway, since it's not hard mode, fuel is free. And uh, once uh, the task is completed, the EMK, then all we have to do is recover it. So, yeah, we are actually going to refueling it. So, though not refueling it would have been a challenge. 
and then again driving this thing and the challenge in itself not feeling it uh, not refueling it would have been an added challenge so I think when we refuel it it was 119 liter remaining so we will see once we uh, go to the other the second post and we will see how much fuel remains and then we can get up you know um, just get an idea of if it was enough How far is it? We just have to be careful of these things. No, they take the tire. So, cargo management in one. Let's see. Oh, also that. Ah, ah. <laughs> or maybe that. Uh, I think the first one was better. So, 179. This is the crossing I was talking about. The one where it says uh, temporary crossing. And so I don't see this uh, as a very difficult crossing actually. If I can keep this truck upright, this isn't this isn't even a crossing, you know. Some sections of the road is more difficult than this. Anyway, so that's done, and then refueling was just, you know, uh, safety precaution. But yeah, we switch this thing off, and I'm gonna move. Boom. Says great now, both course have uninterrupted power supply OED and a guy's course is complete. 604 experience and 7500 for a competition. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you like the content. If you like, share, comment, subscribe to the subscribe channel if you haven't already. I post new videos every day. And if you made it this far, thank you so much. I will see you in the next one.